Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Richard from the Lehigh Valley Zoo. Hello. Hi, Cole. What do we have here behind us? Uh, these are blue wing uh, kookaburra. Where can you find these kookaburras? Australia. These are definitely Australian birds. They're uh, uh, a symbolic bird of Australia almost as much as the emus are. What makes these kookaburras so symbolic? Uh, they have a very distinctive call, which sounds like a laugh, and so they're often called laughing kookaburra. Uh, they are in the same family as kingfishers, so you see that big beak, uh, they will use that for, they will eat fish, frogs, uh, snakes, and lizards. What do you feed them here? Uh, here at the zoo we do feed them mice and chicks, which come in frozen. Uh, we thaw them out for these animals. So you don't fit on um, feed live? No, we don't feed anything live. Uh, reasons for that is live animals can fight back and injure our animals. Live animals can carry parasites. Um, they can escape. <laughs> and generally a lot of the public doesn't like to see something like that anyway. So there's a lot of good reasons not to do that. What kind of, you said these kookaburras live in Australia, but what kind of an environment do they live in? Uh, they live in the bush in Australia, and uh, but people will even get them in their backyards, just like you would at your, your bird feeders. How big do these kookaburras get? These are full-grown kookaburras that you see here. So, um, these are fully grown kookaburras. Yes. How long do these kookaburras live? Uh, generally, they can probably live around 25 years. How old are these kookaburras? I don't know. Offhand. <laughs> I don't know. Offhand. It's okay. You can't know everything right off the top of your head. It's okay. So what's your favorite thing about these kookaburras? Uh, my favorite thing about them is their call. It, 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 when, uh, in warm weather, when this whole uh, exhibit is more open, uh, I love to hear them call and can hear them throughout the zoo. What kind of predators would try to take down kookaburra? Uh, probably uh, large monitor lizards, pythons, things like that, um, dingoes. Well, thank you, Richard, for telling us about these kookaburras. You're welcome. If you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to come back next week for some more animal education.